that you had to pretty much agree to it, no matter how demeaning it felt. I just wanted to know that it's not, you know, you're not alone. It just kept going and going and going. After decades of accusations, including these from the recent blockbuster Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. I decided that enough was enough. R. Kelly, the self-proclaimed king of R&B, finally forced to face the music. Tonight, Kelly appearing subdued as he left his studio to turn himself in to Chicago police. The singer, taken away in handcuffs, will spend the night in jail. Earlier in the day, Kelly was indicted on charges going back two decades. Ten counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four victims. Three of the four women were between the ages of 13 and 17 at the time of the alleged abuse. These charges are incredibly serious. They each hold a maximum of seven years in prison. That if he were found guilty on all ten charges, he may face 70 years in prison. The charges spanning a dozen years from 1998 to 2010 when the R&B singer was at the height of his career, releasing hits like Ignition, Ignition hot and, fresh out the kitchen. and I Wish. Just thinking about those days you used to talk to me. Just hours after the indictment was handed down, attorney Michael Avenatti, who represents several accusers, spoke out, claiming he was responsible for the break in the case. Earlier this month, we uncovered and recovered a videotape of over 40 minutes in length. The tape was shot in uh, the late 90s, approximately 1999. It depicts two separate scenes shot on two separate days within Mr. Kelly's residence at the time. Avenatti shared a screen grab of what he says is Kelly's face from the video. Repeatedly on the video, both the victim and Mr. Kelly refer to the victim's age as being 14. The charges come in the wake of that six-part Lifetime docuseries seen by millions. I'm so sorry. It's okay. And credited for bringing renewed attention to the allegations of sexual abuse and sex with underage girls that have swirled around Kelly for years. Why didn't anyone know this? We all know this. No one cared because we were black girls. The series recounts the harrowing stories of alleged abuse by R. Kelly. It's been over almost two years now. And... We still haven't seen our daughter. They swept it under the rug, but now they're like going back and saying, you know, maybe that was true, or there was some truth in there, or something was, something was wrong back then, um, because you know, 30 years later, it's still happening. Tamara Simmons and Jesse Daniels are two of the executive producers behind the docu series. When you see these patterns emerge that date back to the 90s. It's, you know, it's, it's hard to deny that what the what women, what the survivors went through over the course of years, saying the same thing, the same patterns, the same experiences that they've, they've all shared, what they went through was real. They say in light of the Me Too movement, it was time to give these women a voice. Summer of 2017, there were a few articles that had surfaced that uh, detailed new alleged victims. Parallel to that, the Me Too movement started to take off. Once we started to get in touch with uh, some of these women and dig a little bit deeper into their stories, and then it ballooned to many other people. You have this you know, powerful person that's beloved in the African-American community, and then you have a victim that nobody cares about. It shows you how rich and powerful men can get away with a lot of things. We've been supporting and enabling him for decades. More than 50 people were interviewed for the docuseries, including over a dozen alleged victims who accused the R&B singer of physical and sexual abuse, stretching over months and years. Many who say they were just teenagers when they first met the star. Rob was sitting there at the pool, and he was being really, really nice, and he asked me how old I was, and I told him I was 17. After the docuseries aired, Cook County County, Illinois State Attorney Kim Fox issued an unusual call for anyone with any information to come forward and tell their stories. I'm here today to encourage victims of sexual assault or domestic violence um, related to these allegations to please get in touch with our office. Six weeks later, she delivered the news of his indictment. This recent indictment shows that activism works. 
um, that good journalism works. If it weren't for the Mute R. Kelly campaign, if it weren't for the brave uh, survivors and accusers that have come forward with their own stories, then we wouldn't be here today. This is not the first time Kelly has been in legal jeopardy. In 2008, Kelly was acquitted of charges of child pornography. Robert was acquitted largely because uh, the victim and her parents refused to confirm her identity. So though she was identified on the tape by other people, including an aunt, because she was unwilling to say that she was a victim, um, it was determined that there was no victim and thus there couldn't be uh, a prosecution. In an interview with music journalist Torre, taped after his acquittal, R. Kelly struggles to answer what many viewed as a basic question. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? Girls who are teenagers. I have some 19-year-old friends. R. Kelly had made his desire for younger women well known. His marriage to R&B darling Aaliyah in 1994 was annulled after it was discovered the singer was only 15 at the time of her marriage. He later married choreographer Andrea Kelly. ABC's Lindsay Davis spoke with Andrea about her ex-husband last year. Do I believe that he should serve time in jail? I do. You would like to see him arrested? Yes. Kelly said she was a victim herself for 13 long years of emotional, physical, and sexual abuse at the hands of R. Kelly. She and the singer have three children together. Did you ever fear for your life? Yes. You thought he might kill you? Yeah. Your kids? No. But me, definitely. Tonight, R. Kelly's lawyer insists his client is innocent. Two of the cases are super old, not accurate, not true. And vows to fight every accusation. Mr. Kelly is strong, he's got a lot of support, and he's going to be vindicated on all these charges, one by one if it has to be. But others believe the indictment may only be the beginning of his legal problems, as more women continue to come forward with new stories of abuse. Attorney Gloria Allred, who is representing several of R. Kelly's alleged victims, has a message for the singer. To R. Kelly, I'm sending this message. You have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Your victims are now surrounding you and crying out for justice. Your time has come to face the many women who have suffered in silence for so many years. If convicted, R. Kelly could face up to 70 years in prison. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.